In this tutorial we will do instance segmentation using Jets in Xavier. As we can see, Xavier is powerful enough to do segmentation task in real time. Also, in this tutorial we use Xavier with Jetpack version 5.02. So, we can use a newer version of Python which means we have access to the newest codes related to recognition. Note, that when using Jets in Xavier at maximum performance, it consumes a lot of current, so power supply must have at least 5 amps output current. So, what is instance segmentation? There is a similar method called semantic segmentation. Semantic segmentation classifies each pixel into a fixed set of categories without differentiating object instances. Whereas instance segmentation enables to detect objects in an image while segmenting a mask for each object instance. Now let's briefly discuss the structure of the network we will use in this tutorial. In this tutorial, MaskRCNN is used. MaskRCNN is based on FasterRCNN. FasterRCNN architecture contains two networks. Region Proposal Network takes convolution feature map that is generated by the backbone layer as input and outputs the anchors generated by sliding window convolution applied on the input feature map. In Object Detection Network, Backbone Network is compatible with VGG16. ROI Pooling Layer is also used to make Region Proposal a fixed size. Now let's see features of MaskRCNN network. MaskRCNN is an extension of FasterRCNN and works by adding a branch for predicting an object mask in parallel with the existing branch for bounding box recognition. MaskRCNN is simple to train and adds only a small overhead to FasterRCNN. MaskRCNN is easy to generalize to other tasks such as human pose estimation. Now let's do the programming. Firstly, install git. In this tutorial we will use this repository as a base program. Clone this repository to your local repository. To do instant segmentation, we have to use the mask branch. So, return to your terminal and execute the git checkout mask command. By executing the git status command we can confirm that we are in the mask branch. Now we are going to install PyTorch. The basic installation procedure is explained in this page. Firstly, Copy this line and execute it. Then install the required libraries. Next, Execute the export command to specify PyTorch version we are going to install. Copy this line and execute it. It seems that just by pasting this line, installation will not go well. In the future this problem should be fixed, and we will be able to install PyTorch just following these commands, but for now we should find another way. If you are seeing this and you have succeeded to install PyTorch only by executing this line, skip to Torch Vision installation. So, we will do next thing. Firstly, Install NumPy and SciPy.
then upgrade the protobuf library. We should also check which version of PyTorch is suitable for our Jetpack version. Click here. Since we are using Jetpack 5.02, it will work fine if you install one of these three PyTorch versions. Copy this link. Here we have wheel files for PyTorch versions. Download the wheel file suitable for you. Move the downloaded wheel file to the home directory. And execute the pip3 install command. Open a new terminal and execute the Python 3 command. Import PyTorch. We have installed the PyTorch successfully. For installation of Torch Vision, we will use this page. The link to the page is also in the description below. All you have to do is just to copy and paste commands under the Torch Vision label. Clone Torch Vision version 0.14 Note, that you have to replace the version strings to actual version number you want to clone. Move to the Torch Vision directory. In this line, build version variable is set to 0.14. By executing this command torch vision build will begin. We have successfully installed torch vision. Next install tqdm. tqdm is a python library that allows you to output a smart progress bar by wrapping around any iterable. A tqdm progress bar not only shows you how much time has elapsed, but also shows the estimated time remaining for the iterable. Install Seaborn. Seaborn is a library for making statistical graphics in Python. It is built on top of Matplotlib and closely integrated with Pandas data structures. Now we are going to install Detectron 2. Detectron 2 is a library developed by Facebook that provides detection and segmentation algorithms. Go to this GitHub page. There is an installation guide in the lower part of this page. The installation process is simple. Just copy this line and execute it. Install libcambara gtk. Libcambara is a simple abstract interface for playing event sounds. At the moment this video is created, there is a bug in the torch package, so we have to fix it. Move to the modules folder. Open the upsampling pi script. In the forward function, comment out line 157. To do instance segmentation we are going to use the instance pi script. This script is made based on this file. 
here we will make small modifications too. Comment out last four lines. We will use the inshow method of the OpenCV library. Open a terminal and execute the script. As we can see, each horse is segmented. Now let's see what modifications we made to use this script with a webcam. Open the instance CamPy script. Instead of reading a JPEG file, we acquire frames from web camera. Here, image is resized to 640 by 480. Image conversion operations moved forward to avoid error in case of there will be no objects in the image to detect. This if statement is added due to the same reason. Now let's execute this script. Open a new terminal. Execute the instance cam script. We have successfully executed real-time instance segmentation.